GarageBand on the Mac is a very cool way to create music, and if you own a Mac, it's 100% free. But did you also know that you can download a free 90-day trial of Logic Pro, which is the big cousin of GarageBand, right here on your Mac? In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. So I'm here in GarageBand on Mac, and the easiest way to get to this is to go up to the GarageBand menu here and click on this one, learn about Logic Pro. So once you click on that option, you'll go to this page. You can also go directly to the page here, which I'll link down in the description. What we now need to do is click on the free trial button here in the top right corner. And as you can see, we can download and try out Logic Pro for free for 90 days. So let's click on the download now button and get started. We're going to allow downloads from apple.com and there you go. It's gonna start downloading that right here in the browser. So we'll wait for that to download and then we'll get cracking with Logic Pro. So that is downloaded now. It's a 1.14 gigabyte file. We're going to double click on that one to open it up. And over here, it is opening up that DMG file, verifying it, and we should be ready to go ahead and install. So here we go, Logic Pro Trial. We're going to double click this one and we will get the Logic Pro installer over here. The introduction, it's gonna guide me through this. We're gonna hit continue. There's a license agreement. I've read it in detail and I know you will too. So we're gonna click continue on that one. And then to continue, you must uh, agree to the terms of the software agreement. I'm going to agree to those indeed. Installation type, uh, yeah, we'll just install on the hard drive. This will take 2.12 gigabytes on my computer, which maybe I have. I've only got the low 256 gig drive, but we'll hit install. And uh, now I need to install my password or at least type it in here. So I'll do that and then we'll continue. So we've entered our password, it's preparing to install, and it's gonna go ahead and install Logic Pro Trial. We'll rejoin this once we're ready to check it out for the first time. So we've successfully installed, we're gonna close that one down now, we can close out of this. Now let's locate and load up Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm gonna use command spacebar to go to my spotlight search and type in Logic, and there it is, Logic Pro. We're going to uh, click on that one and load up Logic for the very first time. So what Logic is now doing is downloading what it calls an essential collection of loops and sounds. Now there are other sounds that you can download the entire library and we'll do that once this is installed. So there you go, that's installed. It's asking me for my password again. I'll pop this in and then we'll get cracking. There we go, it's going ahead and installing and uh, it is asking me over here, it would, it would like to access my microphone. I think we can allow that. We're going to click OK. And uh, we're jumping in here now to Logic Pro for the first time. Wish me luck, folks. Now, because I've got some plugins installed from GarageBand, it's telling me here that one of them isn't compatible. We'll, we'll deal with that a little bit later. And as mentioned before, we also have the option here to download more sounds. We will do that a little bit later. What's new in Logic Pro? Well, because it's my first time using it, uh, all of it's going to be new to me, but you will get the prompt here. You can click there for a complete feature list, but let's click continue and dive on in. So as we know, this is a 90-day free trial. If you want to purchase it after that time, it's $199 US or your local currency conversion. So we'll click OK and we're ready to go. So here we are, we're ready to start a new project. You can choose empty project, a live loops grid, some of your starter grids and other things here, and even demo projects like this one, uh, The Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish, if you wanna see how other artists actually create in Logic. So we'll select new empty project, we'll hit choose, and here we are, we're in the world now. It'll look very similar to GarageBand if you're using it for the first time. So we can just choose what sort of instrument we wanna create, and we're away. But what's under the hood of Logic Pro is a whole lot more pro features that you can explore and use to create your music. Now, if you've got nothing plugged in, no audio interface or MIDI keyboard, you can just hit Command K and you can literally start playing. So let's take a look at a project that has a little bit more to it. So if we come here and go File New, this time, why don't we choose this demo project from Billie Eilish. Now we will need to download it here. So we're gonna click on the download button. That's gonna download this demo project. And once that's ready to go, we can open it on up. So we've downloaded this project. We're gonna click on Choose here. It's gonna load this up and you're gonna to get to see what a Logic Pro project looks like from a professional, that being Billie Eilish and her brother and producer, Phineas. So you 
can jump in here. I won't play it here for copyright reasons, but you can play around with this. You can see exactly what goes into an actual song here in Logic Pro. Now, as we saw when we installed this to start with, we do have the ability to add more sounds. So if we click on the Logic Pro menu here, we can scroll down to Sound Library and we can download all available sounds. Now, this is going to be a big chunk of sound. So you may want to check that you've got the hard drive space available for that. You can also go to Open Sound Library Manager and from here, you can select each individual sound pack that you may want to install. So I'm a big string fan, so I'm going to click on the Studio Strings one here, but you can look there that it's 3.06 gigabytes downloaded and the installation requires 7 gigabytes. So before you go and install these, just make sure that you've got enough space and then hit the install button and you'll be good to go. Now, if like me, you've got a new Mac M1 with perhaps a smaller SSD storage drive, what you can do is click on the Logic Pro menu here, go to Sound Library and relocate your Sound Library to an external drive. So this will be handy for those of us that have smaller hard drives. Let's click on that one and we're going to select this, which is my removable hard drive. Now, of course, you need to make sure it's plugged in if you're using Logic, if you use this option, but we're going to click the relocate button here and this is going to move everything over. I've got GarageBand open in the background. So let's close GarageBand and hit OK and relocate this library. So let's click OK. And once again, we need our password. Let's hit install. And there we go. It is moving that sound library. So this is going to free up uh, 18 gigabytes because it seems that it's also moving my GarageBand sound library because uh, GarageBand and Logic do share some sounds here. So all of that sound library is now going to be over on my external drive. So there you go, we've now freed up that space. Our sound library has been moved over to the external hard drive. And that's good news for me because it means that I can actually start downloading some of these other sound packs. Speaking of which, this particular pack needs some more sounds. So whenever you open a project that needs additional sounds, you'll get this pop-up. We're just gonna click download and that will download the additional sounds we need. Your status bar across the top there will tell you how it's going. And as soon as that one is finished, then you can go ahead and play. Of course, after one more password. Last but not least, if you've got GarageBand Mac projects that you want to open in Logic, all we need to do is go to the file and open here and locate those GarageBand projects and bring them in to Logic. So what I've done is search for my GarageBand project, this one here, Murdering Time, one of my recent songs, and we'll click on the open button and let's jump in here. Now, do we want to save that one? No, we don't need to save that untitled project that we opened there. We are going to now save this as, and we'll just call it Logic here, just so that I know that we're opening putting this here in Logic and we're going to click Save. It's now importing that GarageBand project right here into Logic and there it is, it's ready to go and we can instantly play this project. Murdering time. Now, keep in mind that you can go from GarageBand to Logic. However, you can't go the other way. So as soon as you start using the more powerful features in Logic, keep that in mind. You can't then open that project back up in GarageBand.